Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CVM. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. If you're not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. So if you go there, I'll explain in detail. Well, quite the eventful day on this one. Price action all over the place, and this all occurred on well above average volume, especially this afternoon. So definitely a lot of eyeballs on it going forward. So let's map out some areas of support and then we can talk areas of resistance. So the first level of support, and there's nothing fancy, there's nothing complicated by, behind this at all, other than the fact of, you know, where did the bleeding finally stop on the day with all this craziness? And the bleeding finally stopped down there at $6.35. So 635 for that reason and that reason alone is gonna be that initial level of support. So keep a close eye on that. And if the price does go back down there and does not hold above it, then I just switch to the daily time frame here. But you can see good, action there that has that has provided a level of support before and a great bounce off that level but if the price does actually go back down there and does not hold above it next key level after that would be down there at those lows which sit around five dollars and eighty cents preferably speaking though as far as levels of support are concerned in the nearer term if the price can stay up above this area right here at nine dollars and sixty five cents that would be the you know a, a much better situation this was a previous area of resistance right here as you can see and that just goes to the foundational rule and charting when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So again, just keep in mind, that's where that green line is coming from here when I go back to the 30 minute time frame here. I didn't realize that the price is actually still down below that level, but actually, so that should be our first area of resistance. So first area of resistance right there at that level there, if the price can push up through there, then the overarching level to watch is gonna be that pink, or excuse me, the purple line there, the 50 period moving average. I get it, that line's way up there, but key word there being moving. So as Thursday and Friday play out, that line is gonna move itself further and further downwards and get more and more relevant. But again, really before I even worry about that level, price has first gotta get up above that area right there. So overall, very, very crazy movement, nasty day, but we'll see if the bulls can try to get things turned around or not. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.